Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Spirit Fair, or welcome back I should say. We are going to hopefully be picking off where we left last time, assuming I can remember any of the buttons, and what we were doing. I believe we just made the sword mill, which gave us access to wood. Why for the... Yes it is. Love that bloody squeezy lemon. One day I'll work out what I'm supposed to be doing with that. Uh... Wins. I'm sure I have a mission somewhere. Limestone. We need a limestone and... There we go. Logs and maple planks. We needed something to... Oh, I know what I needed to do. I needed to go back to the shipwright to upgrade the damn ship because we don't have enough room. Where are you, shark man? There he is. Let's set off in this direction. I probably need to speak to people. Do I need to speak to people? Are you hungry? Mm. I'm fine, thank you. Oh, whatever. It'll be fine. Let's just fish. Hey, Sylvie. I can't remember what the hell I'm doing. Whoops. Too much. My fish. Ah. Yeah, so what I need to do is go back to the shipyard, upgrade the ship to get a bigger ship, and then, oh, do you know what? Never mind. Uh, go back to the ship yard, get a bigger ship, rearrange everything. Because right now we're kind of out of space, and we need to build Frogman his house. I'm out of all the materials. Wait, my garden's done? They look done. Give me the linen fiber. The linen fiber on coffee seeds I was growing? Yes, it was. I'm gonna need more linen fiber, I feel. At some point. Let's stick with what we're currently doing. Get some corn in there. Get some Jesus Christ. Let's get some variety. Hey, you blubby. You alright, man? We've taken it down a notch this stream compared to the last one because I'm fing knackered. Go back to Spirit Fair. <laughs> oh, I'm so tired today. It is insane. Hopefully, though, this is a stressless, wonderful stream. I'm just going to fish a lot. Thread? You don't need anything, do you? No, she's good. Is this is her childhood home. Oh, I forgot about that. I need to catch a fish. I need to prove myself I can fish. Almost at the port. I've got to get one fish before the port. I think I've got enough. I can't remember what the name of the currency is. I almost said sparks. I think that's the right word. Yay, saltfish. Perfect for the bottom of your boot. Alright, uh, let's go talk to the shark man, Glims. That's the word I'm after. Glims. That's a nice garden. Knock, knock. Who's there? Lettuce. Lettuce who? Lettuce in and you'll find out. <laughs> Did you know chicken wings count as vegetarian in multiple countries because chickens don't need them? <laughs> wait, what? <laughs> oh wait, is that what you meant by thread? Oh, okay. Hang on, let's just upgrade the... Oak planks, I can get a windmill. Oh my god. Well, no, let's get the adventurous manatee. Can I do the freaking mailbox yet? I can. Oh, it's so much bigger now. I'm gonna get the mailbox while we're there, just so I've got it. 
She did just use all of my thread to my dismay. <laughs> you got mail. A letter from Albert. Did we hear somewhere? There it is. Stella, make sure you change your address permanently. You'll have more letters coming shortly. Make sure you keep up with your writing. And pals are the best pals. Everyone knows that. Albert, your local ship. Right. Give me the threads. I've got some thread here. I was going to use it to weave some fabric for you later, but if you want, I can give it to you to weave. I want the thread. Yes. Gimme, give gimme. Give oh, one? Yeah. Yeah, he wrote, he, he upgraded the mailbox and then was like, here, I'm going to send you a letter straight away so you, you get to test the, test the idea. I press the wrong button. Let's go. Up. 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 Cool. Right. We wicked. Right, so technically speaking, I love that picture of the frog just being like, oh, that's how I feel right now. I'm just like, oh, oh my god. Oh. Um, yeah, so I did. I bet, let me guess, I used all the materials I was going to use to make the house. Oh no, I still have enough. Can I just pop that straight on top? Oh yeah. You kind of feel like that would work the other way better. Oh god, that's gonna, that's gonna hurt my brain. I can't do that. Mm. I'm desperately trying to think of a way of making this so it might look presentable. Bye! I'm gonna like move things and then be like, where did I put everything? What the hell? It's the guest house. It really annoys me that there's just that one piece underneath this workshop. Next time don't play horror before bedtime. <laughs> I did have a very bizarre like nightmare about paint. I don't know why. You know the paint cans in that game? I picked them up and I looked at them. For some reason that stuck in my brain and I have no idea why. Uh, Alright, let's build... We can't make Summer Sanctuary? We can't do that, can we? Because we need oak. We need oak! We need. Ooh, I fucked myself over here, aren't I? Maybe this needs to go on the bottom somewhere. Ah. Place it, then move it. Oh, that's probably a good idea, actually, isn't it? Because I can just build it. And then move it around afterwards. I peek in and it looks like you're trying to poop. You okay? <laughs> oh, yes. I'm fine. I'm very tired, but I'm fine. I'm thinking. That's the problem. Dangerous game. Blue. What does blue mean? It just means swap? Okay, that makes sense. I want to put this blue, this big building on the bottom. Because it's big. So it makes perfect bloody sense. But yes, and then I swap these over.
Yeah, that'll do, right? <laughs> ah! Oh, there's just like a big space. Wait, I can put... Oh, that's so bad. Ah, I'm sure it'll be fine. Didn't think about the jellyfishes. That's what. Well, yeah. Kind of don't want to. This is going to be quite hard to defend. But I think it'll be okay. But it's quite easy to climb. I'm just going to forget where everything is. That loom thing can go on the bottom row. Oh, I have mail. You have mail. Can we have the AOL, man? Oh, god damn it! I'm struggling the cat again. Uh. Hey, can I do these as well while I'm here? No. Yes. Mystery! I grew one empty shell, three empty bottles, and a valuable ring. That's definitely a unique thing to grow. Oh, well, I can grow as carrots. Well, looks like we're living off carrots, lads. I'm not getting the goddamn guitar out. Not the weirdest thing you can grow. That worries me. Oh, we need to look for oak. A rack, a protest flyer. Oh no! Workers unite! You are done being under, being paid unfair wages. You are done being exploited for the benefits of the upper class. Say no to capitalist abuse. Rally to our cause at Bottom Line Corp. Union for Working Denizens. Daddy it, communists? No. Um. Yeah, cuss. Customer. Due to an unforeseen supply shortage at the Bottom Line Corporation, Depot, Raccoon Inc. will no longer be able to apply our special rebate program for recurring customers. Please know that it is with great regret that I will that we have to inform you of the situation, and rest assured, valued customer, of our continuous efforts to improve it. Raccoon Incorporated. Trade is our family name. Okay. Right, oh, ding, 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 ding. Who wants food? Froggo, you eat anything. You're the best. I don't really feel like it right now. Oh my god. Just, just, just have fish. Something else, please. Oh, fuck. Bastard. Poached fruit? Oh boy! Na, 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 na. What would you like? Gwen? She likes fine dining, but I don't know if she's... Okay, and then we need to find Snake Boy. Oh, hello, star hello, man. You know me. I could always go for a little snack. Something salty, something buttery, something with flavor. Oh, jeez. You know what it would be just perfect? A big old bag of popcorn all to myself. Just go ahead and eat some up. Up some corn. I've already... Oh, that was stuff. It's perfect. It's just for me. All this room for little one uh, me? I can't wait to catch some shut eye. This is really great. Thank you so much. I won't forget this. I was trying to give you your popcorn, you bugger. Does he want me to give him the popcorn? Or Hmm. That really didn't fill me up. However, it did make me miss my kids a whole lot. I used to make bags of popcorn on movie night for them. Even with the TV turned up, you couldn't hear the actors talking. The crunching was so loud. It was the only way to calm those little monsters down, watching these terrible kids' movies. I wish I was still there, to see them laughing, for them to fall asleep on me. Thank you for this popcorn. I was looking at your kitchen yesterday. It's fine, nothing special. It reminds me of my first kitchen, in my terrible apartment. I didn't know what I was doing in there. I was so careless with the spices. Not enough salt. Anyways, here's a little something to brighten this mess up. 
Don't worry, it's not a spice rack. You'll need to actually work for it, but it'll be worth it. Just improve your kitchen with some extra oven space. Your kitchen will be looking just right in no time. Ah. So we have unlocked a bigger kitchen. Big stove. Speaking of cooking things, let's throw all of the herring in there. Oh, so where's the snake? The vegetarian snake, that is. Hello. How about a little snack, Stella? I'm feeling quite hungry. All right now, please. No hugs for you. Let's give you some... Oh, you found my weak sweet spot, dear. I can't say no to a dessert. A delightfully sugary perfection. Thank you very much. Wonderful. Okay, let's set sail somewhere that's got oak. Summer is a snake lady. Ah, okay. That makes sense. Well, then I might summer. My bad. When the bubble speech icon is white, it means you have to talk to them. Okay. So, oh, where is... You know he's got a bottom line court. That sounds interesting. Go raid the raccoons. Get the harpoons ready! Well, that's not terrifying at all, is it? Wait, is this workshop going to take... Did I stop? Oh. I'll keep on soaring. Yeah, good. Keep soaring. Yeah, we got a workforce on the go. Let's go fish. I'm gonna go fish. Oh, can I hug? Can I hug everyone yet? Hug. Thanks, but it won't be necessary. God damn you, people! Unless it's raining, then they're just moaning. They've got houses. What more do they want? Oh wow! Bloody hell! That was a big. That was a big pull. Hey, shrimp. Hey. Wait, who wants to talk to me, though? Oh, do you mean I have to actually do the... I've got some fibre I bought. I was going to use it to weave some thread for you, but... Go to you now. Didn't I do just do this? I think I'd rather I just left her to... Um... Oh, I got, I got planks! Yeah, oak planks? <laughs> planks! Get your planks! I made some planks for you, Stella. Enjoy. Hey, Paul. Oh, I need oak. Where's the loomery? We can make this work. you get different types of thread? I'm going to assume you do, since this is called linen thread. Rain! Yeah, but we're not in a rush, are we? It's a chill game. The whole point. We're taking it easy. I also love rain. Well, let me clarify. I love the sound and the look of rain. I hate being in rain. Blubbies at all. <laughs> you like food too, Blubby? What a freaking UFO! What the hell was that? Oh. Well, isn't this a little bit, uh, ab abysmal? Go have a little explore explore, shall we? Something to write home about. Hello, Mr. Raccoon. An excellent salesperson always carry carries what the customer needs. So, my well-off patron, what can I do for you? I can't buy anything from you. 
So you can't do anything for me, can you? What the hell's going on up there? Music. Reeks of desperation. Hi, guys. Mm -hmm. The time has come, my friends. Let's trample the thorns of inequality. Let's burn the tangling ropes of low wage employment. Let's tear down the golden walls of the upper class. Your conditions here have been appalling. It's time for you to revolt. Mm -hmm. Let's show this capitalist pig that it's your work that creates wealth and value. Your work that makes him a prophet, and he is the one living off your backs. We will never surrender! Down with the oligarchy! Do not despair, my friends. Together we can reverse this unjust stream of enrichment. Together we can finally give the power back to the working class. Power you deserve, and wealth you should benefit from. Time to claim what is rightfully yours, my friends. Yeah, let's find his wallet. An extra 10 minutes for lunch. <laughs> God, what have I walked into? No. Wow, what animal are you? Mm -hmm. Hello there. You've come to join our protest? Uh, no. Not really. I kind of just came here because it looked interesting. But yeah, uh, I say no. No worries. Everyone is welcome here. I have a little something to ask you since you've just arrived. You'll find up there the CEO of this company. He's fled to his office and won't come out. Coward. See if you can convince him to face his employees and have an honest dialogue with them. We won't budge before their conditions have improved. Okay. I'd like some background though. Can I get some uh, first-hand accounts on the actual mistreatment and things? Because, you know, I could be fighting for the wrong side here. Hello, at all. Look at that fuse box, Stella. The glass is all busted up. That's not up to code. If I was their union leader, believe you me, I'd make that greedy boss seed his own shoes. Alright then, fair enough. I'm going to get them on health code violations. I feel like I'm, I, I need to... <laughs> what is going on? I can't... I can't get her to jump! <laughs> She's just spilling! Let me do it forever. I know I'm bouncing. I'm trying to jump it at the right moment. When is the right moment? We're definitely not getting enough height to get up there. Not my way, anyway. Oh, except you don't know how to bounce yet. Oh, what do you mean I don't know how to frickin... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What kind of stupid system is that? <laughs> can't wait for our next game. My friend Buck has been preparing a new game for us. I'm sure he'll tell us soon. Oh, is this where the CEO is? Okay. I thought he was in the other building. What do you want? Get away from here. I have done nothing wrong. I am the one being threatened. As if three fewer days on a vacation a year was a big problem for them. Oh dear. I mean... They should have thought twice before starting a family, right? <laughs> I'm not responsible for their poor life choices. Oh, fuck me. 
nor for their lack of higher qualifications. And they should be happy I've not delocalized the production. What will I have to do next? Pay them medical insurance too? Why would I pay them if they don't work? Does it make a difference if they have a broken arm or whooping cough? They still don't work when they're not here. I mean... Very hardline stance, isn't it? I can't budge. Well, that doesn't bloody help, does it? Ooh, a new soup. Uh, uh, a new soup. A new recipe and an old painting. Wait, do they just have rocks delivered here? Coal. How interesting. Hi. I spoke to him. He, he won't budge. We won't move. Not without having negotiated. How do we negotiate? <laughs> Talk to the terrible CEO again. Ah! Do I get paid for this? They just want to negotiate, you say? Look, it's getting hot in here. And I'm getting hungry, too. Okay. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. Oh, you can tell them I'll reverse my decision on the vacations. I'll wait for you here. Oh. Son of a... Hi. No. Oh. Nope. Not enough. Plus 20% increase in wages and full compensation for medical expenses. Oh, this is why it never works. As well as another week of vacation and 5% on capital gains. Oh my god. What is this? What did she tell you? She basically told you to go fuck yourself. But, but, damn, I've already got to pee. Okay, okay, whatever they want. Tell them they'll get whatever they want. Well, they'll have to stop calling me Mr. Moneybags, got it? Okay, go now. I'll have to find the key to this door. You know, that, that worked out quite well, actually. Yeah, right, that's, that's what it takes. We'll just lock the managers in their, in their offices until they need to pee. What did he say? He agreed to everything you said. Wonderful! You're one hell of a negotiator, Munchkin. I like you already. Look, my work is done here, thanks to you. I probably could embark with you on this fancy boat of yours. I can't wait to rest my bones in a cosy home and have you by my side, Munchkin. See you there. Okay, then. I'm not sure I want a communist on board. What creature are you? Oh, it's too not not dark to navigate. Where are you? Oh, she's at the front. Oh god. Ah, can't get in. Depends what animal she is. Took you long enough. If she's cool, then I'll take it all back. I think that's pretty cool. Fucking huge. Ow. Woof. That felt funny. You'd think I would have seen everything at my age. I'm sure I liked it, though. But it sure beats being an impersonal hooded blob. Those capes are really scratchy. Ah. It feels good to breathe the fresh air. Time for me to stretch my legs for a bit. Mm, I'm hungry as well. You know what? You be a deer and fix me a little meal. That would be marvellous. Thank you, Munchkin. Okay, you can leave now. Oh, we are not going to get on. I can feel it. Get a hug, though. Hug! A hug brightens my day. Right, um... What do you like? Food. I'm going to assume you have fish? Well, a bit overcooked, isn't it? I'm kind of bland. Ah, never mind. I'll do. Thank you, Munchkin. You're a sweetheart. I've been out of the loop on that island. You tend to lose track when you fight for workers' rights. Catch up on the latest gossip, don't you think? Oh, but don't get me wrong. I don't really like gossip. But we need to stay informed. 
in case important things happen. And I know just the right person. An old friend of mine has been seen roaming, has been roaming the seas. You could probably tell us what's been going on. Are you for a little game of adventure? Well, it's not like you have a choice. You should be around. She's gained a bit of weight recently, but don't tell her that. She's always making a scene when someone mentions her appearance. Let's go meet her. Hurry up now. God damn, you bossy. I mean, I'm not gonna lie, she's pretty badass. That is a badass looking animal. One button. I wonder if she eats raw fish? I don't think so. She's a lynx. Lynx indeed. Right, so we can't set a nav uh, navigation point because it's the middle of the blooming night. So that's not fun. Uh, I could skip forward today, I guess. Or I could do all my gardening. Not that it needs watering, but we're going to do it anyway. I mean, she's a pretty big lynx, that's, that's, that's for sure. Whoops. And the corn grows pretty quick. Let's... Grow some kaffir beans. We need more bean. We need more seeds. I definitely need to go find some. So if I was to go anywhere, God damn it! Can I at least look at the map? Meh. Not right, fine. We will move on. Why is Amazon sending me? Things. Strange. <laughs> that was a notification. Rise and shine, everybody! Wait, is it time for us to rise and shine yet? Where can I set destination? Alright, oh, where do we want to go? South Point Docks? Is Olga the new person? I assume so. Sheep. Ah, let's go. Let's go check out those crates. Who wants my money? No, not the money. My money. Oh. What was the button you pressed to hide the left bumper? That was it. Wake up, everybody! listening to me. Probably. Actually, no, Alexa isn't in this room anymore. I moved her out. She annoyed me because she used to come on during when I was recording and doing things. I was like, nope. Fed up with that. Let's not deal with that anymore. And food. I don't think he's going to like healthy food, is he? Good morning. Ah, <laughs> oh, she's got a fan. She's not going to want to hug, is she? I bet she's... I feel that would be inappropriate. I assume she's not actually hungry. Yeah, because I fed her last night. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, no, I'm struck the cat. Yeah. <sighs> Seeds.
The animation was so <laughs> food is ready. Behold thy dinner! Oh, when they're hungry, the, uh, the button changes. That makes a lot of sense, you know. I just kind of assume they're going to be hungry every day and I should try and feed them at the same time every day so I don't forget about it. Then they crash into something. Who have enough fed? It's fine. I'll just talk to them throughout the day. It's all good. Popcorn! Uh, let's make some waffy. And set our next destination. Where do you reckon we should head off to? We have new islands. I guess we could go speak to... Is Ol Olga is new, right? We haven't seen Olga before. I don't think we have. When? When is who I haven't seen? Doesn't like shellfish? Just want another coffee? Mm. Mm. Coffee's ready right when I leave the kitchen. That, yeah, that makes sense. Very quick thing to cook. Oh, look. Hey. I should have really talk to him, shouldn't I? Waffy. Did you forget about that kitchen? It really needs to be improved. Oh, fine. What do I need? Linen fabric and lightning in a bottle. Yeah, well, I can't do linen fabric, can I? Because I need to be able to get the foundry. I guess I need the foundry next, right? Walls into ingots or smelt your problems away. Oh, we're almost where we need to be, that's for sure. Three sisters. You know, all of a sudden, I feel like this has this has taken a very sinister turn. How great is that? I need to improve the loom. He's here. Mm -hmm. Ah, there we are. I'm happy to see her, Munchkin. Mm -hmm. She's always been a kind person, and we go way back, me and her. I've got to tell you, last time we saw each other, things didn't go that well. She might still hold a bit of a grudge against me. Not my fault, if I say things as they are. You don't always make friends, by being honest. And you might even lose a few. But we're old now. So, canoe under the bridge, as they say. Follow my lead? Yes. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Olga! You haven't changed a bit, old friend. Still so green. Astrid, my dear old Astrid, I'm glad to see you. I'm glad to see that you're out of your old shell. Would you happen to owe this to this charming young lady here? You were the new spirit fairer, aren't you? Albert was telling everyone that Sharon had been replaced. Or Karen. Stella, isn't it? When I think he borrowed my hairbrush and never gave it back. Oh well. I hope this new job of yours doesn't weigh too heavily on your frail shoulders. You can count on me to give you a hand, my little lady. So tell me, Astrid, what brings you here? As you said, I'm back in the world. The first thing I wanted to do was pay you a little visit. You know, to catch up on things. How are you and your sisters doing? Oh, you know. Oh, my brain's not passing, passing that name. Irina? Is still focusing on her studies. Masha has picked up a new hobby. Knitting. She says it keeps her stress levels low. Not that she's ever done anything really stressful, mind you. But she crafts nice little knits for the winter. 
we pay them a visit as well. Oh, and Astrid. Mm -hmm. Yes? You won't believe what I heard the other day. What? Oh, I need to move my head a little higher. Oh, so I do. Miss Shrewsbury is pregnant. Again. What? Can't believe it. Yes. You know what? Bob is not the father. No. You're kidding me. Incredible. Oh, well, she always knew how to lure them boys. Speaking of boys, I heard Giovanni's back. And from a reliable source at that. Gio, Giovanni's back? I told you that. Where? When? Well, if you're interested, I can go dig deeper. But are you interested? Mm -hmm. Yes! Uh, no. No, I don't care what he does. I don't want to know. He can frolic all he wants. As you wish. Do you know what? I'll go check my sources and I'll write back to you. Just in case. Now that you're traveling in good company, I know where to find you. You're okay. But no rush. I'm happy Stella found me and I want to spend some time with her and her crew for now. Olga dear, could you show her what you can do? I'm certain your help will be greatly appreciated. But of course. And on with the main attraction. Come here, little lady. I'm a very old being, but I'm not very wise. Yes, a bit like Astrid. But there are some things I can do. My specialty is patience. And spinach puffs. And spinach puffs, but we won't talk about that right now. If you look carefully, there are three receptacles on my back. You plant logs, ores, or rocks in them. And then you wait. You wait for me to come back to the surface. And when I back the rocks or logs you used will have become a tree or a mining rock. Isn't that nice? I can't tell you what my secret is. But you have to know one thing. It's normal if they smell like strawberries, okay? All right, hop on my back, little lady. Oh my god. That was a lot of talking. So, she's a, a garden, basically, I guess. Oh. I mean, it kind of makes sense to just kind of... I guess... Let's put some copper in there. Put some coal in there. And then I want to put a tree up here. Bella! Fuck. Missed. Are you done? Wonderful. Just making sure, like, the, the, the text bubble is now higher. I was just making sure my camera wasn't in the way. Wonderful. I'll go back underwater for some time. Do not worry, I'll re-emerge as soon as what you've planted can be fully harvested. In the meantime, take care of yourself and one of your passengers, Stella. Bye now. See you soon. How intriguing. Oh, now she wants to talk. Of course she does. What a bust. She had a lot to say, didn't she? Running her mouth like that. She's always been chatty, this one. But I don't judge. Mm -hmm. Also, I don't know if you've noticed, but her eyes are a bit scary. Soothing and kind, for sure, but scary. I think she should talk to someone about this. But enough about her. Thanks a lot for having brought me to her, Munchkin. It's really appreciated. There is always so much going on, I can't get enough of it. Also, what she said about Giovanni, that Giovanni character. Well, hmm, you know what? Never mind. We'll have ample time to talk about this later. I don't want to bore you with this now. See you later, Stella. Yeah, there were goddamn gossiping. Oh my god, please. <sighs> Good. I see this shark didn't gouge you too much with his delirious prices. I know how these people are. Always trying to scam you for your money. And don't you dare be weak in front of them. They will smell it right away. Like the rabid dogs they are. Anyway, now you've upgraded your blueprint table, I see that you can build a foundry. I could teach you a thing or two, you know. 
I come from a very long line of metal workers, and as much as I've learned how to fight for the workers' rights in factories, I've also learned how to operate such heavy machinery. Let me tell you, it's absolutely fantastic. It sure doesn't sound like it, and it's dirtier than you would expect. But the vibrations, the sounds, the heat. You know what? Be a deer and build one for us. It'll come in handy in your travels, and I will have something to do with my hands. She's hungry, but I'm not going to feed her. I'm going to wait till tomorrow and we can feed everyone at the same time. Right. I guess we go over to South Point Docks. The sun's about to go down, so we're not going anywhere, but... Let's go to the sawmill and cut up my stuff. Oh no, I plant need watering. Hang on. Oh -ho. I harvest this stuff as well. I should so I need to look at upgrading the looms and things as well, don't I? Better than a fascist wolf. Oh, you're not wrong. Oh, I love the coffee. Waffee. Gonna make Gwen happy as happy as hell. I should cook all these carrots. Oh, a lot of carrots. And a bloody seeds. Damn. There we go. Uh, so, how do I, what do I need to upgrade, like the loom and things? Improve. Maple planks, bright jellyfish. Ah, it's actually not that hard. Even maple planks and bright jellyfish. can do that. Oh, why are you upset? What happened? A snack would be great right now. I'll bugger off. I mean, working in a metal factory, I can only imagine is not the greatest of jobs when it comes to uh, being treated correctly in a workplace. Wow, look at all this rain. Where are we going? We're going over there. Shrugging the cat again. Hello, Mr. Cat. Ding, ding, ding. Right. vegetables let's cook one of those just to see what happens mackerel ah oh, I forgot to get my jelly babies I'm deeply hurt inside sprout why don't you fish anymore it's really calming you can just cast your line and you wait. So relaxing. Then it's the fight of your life. You give it all your heart. What's not to love about it? I do fish. Uh, would you like some grilled vegetables? You look like you need to lose some weight. Oh boy, I love food. Kim come in, yeah. We're just going to make Gwen live off coffee. <laughs> Doesn't work like that, okay. So she gets uh, another shrimp cocktail. Ah, this is absolutely exquisite. Where is Summer? Is that the name of the snake?
Nobody wants to be hugged. And the Linksy lady, she gets shellfish. Thank you, Munchkin. Oh my god. Who weight shaming? What? There was no weight shaming there. I was merely pointing out the people who were uh, like, I like vegetables. They make you lose weight. It's like, no, they don't. Not if you eat tons of them. Just like anything else. Uh, right. Are we here? Oh no, he's hammering again. What's going on? Is there an artificial barrier here? There must be. Must be what that line is. It's some sort of rocky shoal. Yes, okay. Well, we can't go that way then. Uh, well, let's go here first. Yeah, eating vegetables is healthy. But some people, like, eat large volumes of food and then wonder why it's still unhealthy. <laughs> Fish. We're gonna go fish. Personally, I couldn't care less about being healthy, so keep that in mind. <clears throat> Give me one of those big ass pizzas right now. In fact, I would take a pizza right now. I'll even put green stuff on it if it makes people happy. But actually, no, I wouldn't. Green stuff on a pizza is like sacrilege. Pineapple is acceptable. I keep hearing, like, what I can only describe as helicopters. That's the moment I'm on about food. You know, I was just thinking, I am surprisingly hungry. I think I, did I miss a point? Surely. Oh, really? Stop moaning about the goddamn kitchen, you pain in the ass. Let's go to a place where we can get wood. We need to upgrade our stuff, don't we? Alt Harbor. We also need jellyfish stuff. Walking around outside. I have a surprise. I was hungry as usual, so I did something about it. I went outside the boat and gathered some berries. I went a little overboard. I have too much. Here you go. Have a berry day. Thanks. Broccoli on pizza is an abomination. That is worse than pineapple. Two seconds. There we go. <clears throat> I disagree. <laughs> Look, I have jelly babies. I'm living a great life right now. Why hide it when I can just not put it on there? You don't need to hide it then. I just realized I meant to send somebody a message saying I was streaming and I completely forgot. Diabetic? I'm not diabetic. My sugar intake is perfectly regulated. The key is you have so much your body doesn't know what to do with it. Yeah. 
I don't actually have that much sugar in my diet. Believe it or not. You may think I do, but I don't. <laughs> my diet's actually quite um quite healthy. Mostly. It's just the problem is whenever I'm streaming, you'll just see me eat quick and easy food. You'll never see me actually eat the food that I eat. Like my dinners and things. I mean, the biggest problem in my life is probably energy drinks. Oh dear. Maybe I shouldn't be fishing right now. Fine, oh, no, we got a base shrimp. Quick. Again? Here we are again. The jellyfish are stealing all the light. They've stolen all hope from me. Let me get used to it. I think it's my fault. Right, you do your thing again. Are you up for it? Yep. Don't be scared, Scala. That's Scala. Stella. We're coming straight for us. Let's get ready. The fight the jelly. How oh, many green ones, right? Oh man, they're everywhere. Ah! Gotcha. So I'm assuming the normal ones just give glim. So I'm not actually all that bothered about the normal ones. I mean, glim is. Glim is good, but I'm really here just for the green ones. Oh my god. Eh. There we go. You know what, Blobby? I completely forgot that you'd, like, damaged your foot. At least it's healing up. Seems like a real good thing. See, I don't leave the house, so I definitely don't hurt myself very often. Holy shit! It's a swarm of... <laughs> so many jellyfish! Sweet Jesus! Oh, I need to warm my plants. I'm blubber toe! It's his pirate name. I pick up more seeds. I did. Fucking carrots. <laughs> we got so many carrots. <laughs> hey, I get abuse all the time. I gotta share this around. Makes me feel better about myself, right? That's how that works. I'm joking, of course. We're a, we're a loving channel here. 